Hello everyone and welcome to 5th North. I'm really excited today to talk to you about something that just came in the mail actually this morning. Um, so for those of you who have watched the channel for a little while, uh, first of all, thank you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, hopefully you like this video and if you do, hopefully it gets you to uh, click on that subscribe button and see what other stuff I have going on. Um, but with that being said though, for those of you who watched the channel for a little bit, you might have seen my video of uh, what's in my camera bag uh, 2021. If you haven't, go ahead and check it out right here. Or you might have seen my video where I review the Peter McKinnon Nomadic uh, camera backpack. Again, if you haven't, check it out right here as well. Now, the point of me bringing that up is I already have a camera backpack that I'm very happy with. In fact, I'm extremely happy with it and it's my official decision, if you will, on my photography camera backpack. But with that being said though, I did recently pick up the FX3, as you guys might have seen in my previous videos, and now with it, I have a bunch of other video gear that I'm starting to use that doesn't fit into my photography backpack. And quite frankly, I don't really wanna mix the two because sometimes I wanna just go do photography, sometimes I wanna just go do videography, and sometimes I wanna do both. And when I do both, I kinda of have to mix and match and whatever. But long story short, I wanna to talk to you today about the Hex brand um, DSLR backloader camera backpack in their camo coat. Let me actually grab it real quick. Um, so it's this guy right over here, uh, pretty big in frame. I'll lean back a little bit, you guys can see it. Um, so this backpack, um, as you can see, is camo. It matches exactly to the um, Hex uh, mini sling, or uh, I think regular sling that I have, uh, which I've reviewed before. But anyway, long story short, I want to give you guys my initial uh, impressions of the bag, give you a little bit of a tour of the bag, and show you some of the stuff that I've already fit into the bag and how I'm organizing it with some of the features that come with the bag itself. Now, keep in mind, I've only had this bag for a day, so this is not a full review. I'll do a full review later. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like, how it works, and uh, what I'm really excited about is the fact that I have a lot of stuff in here, and the bag isn't full yet, which means that uh, I have room to grow as my video gear starts to expand and get tailored more and more for my needs. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the bag. All right, so one of the first things that I really like about this backpack is that it doesn't look like a traditional photography backpack, which to me is a big deal because I don't really want people to know that I'm carrying around photo gear. I want it to look like a regular backpack, and I think for the most untrained eyes, this backpack is just a backpack, right? Uh, with that being said, I also do like the camo color. Um, they also have a glacier camo and a black. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm just partial to the camo, so that's the route that I went. Um, but let's dive into some of the pockets. So right off the bat, you've got a little bit of a latch here. If you press down the two edges, it'll unclip and open. Uh, up top, you've got the little hex uh, pattern, if you will. This part's kind of cool. It's got a little button that clips and you can actually put uh, business cards and other, other little cards in there, which I like. And then this part unzips and you can see it's a very soft material and it's very deep and that's where the, uh, the laptop will go. Uh, my understanding is that it will fit a 15 inch MacBook Pro, uh, potentially a 16 as well. So plenty of space there, um, good place for your laptop. So I do like that part. Then you've got the bottom pocket. This main compartment right here on the top, it is the same material as the laptop pocket. Good place to put a small tablet or I carry my phone in here sometimes when I wanna make it a little more convenient than having it in my pocket, which prevents me from like squatting down and take photos, stuff like that. So I do like having that feature as well. All right, the next compartment is gonna be the actual big pocket on the front. And this is where um, you get a couple of spots. Right now it's empty for me. Cause like I said, I just got the backpack and I haven't really organized all my stuff yet, but this is where I would keep like, uh, you know, when I'm shooting, keep my keys, um, extra cables, chargers, all that kind of stuff would go in there. Probably my notebook here, a couple of pens in here. Uh, just gives you a little bit of a chance to organize yourself. And I do have one thing in here right now. It's behind this zipper. I have all my rain uh, covers, little plastic rain covers for the camera. So um, it's all right there for me. So good, good size pocket, comfortable space to put stuff. And again, it looks very unassuming, which I like. So that's kind of the front, nothing too crazy, but very useful and practical. Um, I think the biggest part everybody's looking for, obviously, is the back side of things. So let me flip the bag over. It's a back loader backpack, which I'm, I'm really uh, a big fan of back loaders because I don't like having to put the part that touches my back down on wet, dirty floor, especially out here in the PNW, it rains a lot. So you're having to put your backpack down on the wet and you don't want the back of your shirt or back of your jacket wet, so I do like the backloader design. Uh, nice and padded um, sh straps. Not the softest ones that I've seen, but not terrible either, so they're actually pretty pretty solid. And you you do have the uh, the chest clip here, 
There is no waistband, but I think at this size of camera, you don't, or I'm sorry, not camera, this size of backpack, you don't actually need one. So I think it's a good, a good amount of support without being overbearing. Um, the back padding is actually really nice. Let me uh, put, tuck these straps underneath here. So the back padding is actually really soft and nice, keeps your stuff protected and feels good against your back. It is breathable too. So you're not gonna get like a sweaty back from having a backpack against you all day. Uh, nice hex shaped uh, zippers. I'll go ahead and uh, unzip the backpack here all the way around. And then the flap will open. Now I'll start with the flap first. The flap's really cool for me because you've got two zip compartments down here. I have all my drone essentials. I have extra um, propellers, cables, uh, battery plugs, all that kind of stuff. And then up here I've got HDMI cables and batteries for my camera. And this little pocket's really cool because it, it has Velcro. But it's a little bit deeper and I can actually keep XLR cables um, inside that pocket. So I do like that for video needs. Um, again, really simple but really functional so I definitely do like it. And then I'll bring back the camera bag here. Um, so this is the main compartment obviously. This is where all the stuff goes. Um, again, it's not fully filled. I, I'm sure I could organize it a little bit better and uh, you know put more stuff in it, but considering how big or I guess how small the bag is compared to my other bag, which I like, again, it's nice to not have a giant bag everywhere you go. Um, it fit quite a few things. So just kind of from the overview here, um, in this side here, right now I only have one microphone and a dead cat, but normally I have two micro microphones in here. Obviously I'm using one to record right now. Um, I can fit my... my uh, DJI Mini 2 right here. I've got the Mini 2 controller. I've got the Mini 2 uh, battery pack. I've got a battery backup. The FX3's uh, Sony charger and the cable. The FX3 handle, which honestly is great, but super awkward to store. So I do like how it fits into this bag quite well. So I've got it kind of tucked in here. I've got my DJI OM4 if I ever want to record with my phone. I've got the gimbal there. Uh, once again, I've got the drone uh, controller, the triple battery pack, and then I've got my FX3 camera with a 24mm um, uh, 1.4 G Master lens on it. So, you know, pretty compact setup, but it fits, it fits nicely in here. And I've got room to spare up top, which it does have a top opening, so if you do want to get your camera out from the top, you can as well. Uh, but I'm not really a side or top open kind of guy, really. Uh, I thought I used to be, and then I kind of grew out of it and stopped using it. I just opened up the whole thing. And get what I need at once but hopefully that gives you a rough idea of what fits in the bag it's it's pretty spacious considering and what I love about this bag I'll say this right off the bat I feel like a lot of manufacturers want you to buy extra dividers so they include the bare minimum dividers and it's really difficult to get everything sorted the way you want it to um, hex on the other hand they included enough dividers for me to set all this up plus I believe I had four or five extra dividers left over so if I did want to make them smaller compartments, obviously I have some big compartments, I have enough dividers to do that, which I think is really cool that they actually give you enough. They do sell more on their website if you need more, but they give you plenty to start with, which I think is really cool on their part, again, because a lot of companies don't do that. So I hope this gives you guys a better idea of what actually fits in it. Uh, really tough zippers, really good padding once again, so I feel like my gear is safe and secure. I'll go ahead and close it up real quick. And if you have any questions on what else could fit or maybe some of the dimensions or stuff like that, Definitely feel free to ask and I'll be happy to, you know, happy to help out. All right, so now that we've got it zipped up again, I'm going to sit it up real quick. This is the, uh, the top open. Um, again, you can get your camera out that way, which is really convenient. And then on the sides, we have um, tripod straps or you can tie a... Um, I mean, all sorts of stuff you can clip onto there, jackets, umbrellas, whatever, you know, whatever you're into. And then um, on the other side, we have a water bottle, um, a water bottle holder, which does have a little tightening uh, rope, which makes it easier to make sure the ball doesn't slide out. Um, I wish it was a little bit taller because I feel like some of my bottles are really long and they might get a little top heavy, but I guess that's where this, this comes in. But since we have the space, maybe an extra strap or a longer mesh would have been cool, but that's just nitpicking, honestly. Um, and then the other part that I really like about this bag is if you look at the bottom, it has this really tough rubberized leather feeling material, which I think is really important because sometimes bag manufacturers forget 
that you're going to be setting this bag down. So you don't want the bag to get wet, to get ruined, to leak, whatever. Having that kind of material on the bottom is a really good idea. So shout out to Hex for doing that. So I'll tell you this overall so far, I'm very pleased with the bag. Again, it's only been one day, but just the way that it fits on my body, the way that it feels, uh, I'm happy with it. And also more importantly, I feel like it, it fits the gear that I need it to fit without being a giant backpack, which I already have. Now, no, you know, no knocking the giant backpacks. There's a, there's a time and a place for that and for the amount of gear that I need for when I'm traveling. But I like this setup a lot better for, you know, just around town when I don't want to bring all my gear with me. All right, so hopefully you found that video useful. Uh, if you did, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button for me. And again, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell. It'll notify you anytime I release a new video and you guys can kind of help me grow this community and uh, help each other with video and photo stuff. Uh, with that being said though, uh, this video, like I said, is just a quick overview uh, I'm hoping that it did answer some of your initial questions, but keep an eye out. I will have a full review once I've been given a chance to really put this bag through its paces. If you do have any questions in the meantime, though, feel free to drop a comment below. I do read all the comments. I do respond to all of them. And if you have any questions on the actual backpack, dimensions, how things fit, how things work, by all means, I'd be happy to answer them. So anyway, with that being said, hope you guys all have a great night. I will see you in the next video. Peace.